Rundle has been very active. Um, Andrew Reuter in the ruck, as you called, mentioned during the call in that second quarter, is probably controlling the centre bounces without being a dominator. The uh, Thompson boys are sharking his uh, work quite well. They've got a focal point up there in Peter Lang. Um, Mick O'Leary's done a bit of work around the centre, and I'm very impressed with Murray Stevenson, uh, Ron, across half-back. Seems to be doing a bit of work for them. And um, that's probably all I would be prepared to say about the Eastern Suburbs boys at this time, and I think they wasted the breeze, I'll add that. OK, well, yeah, I tend to agree with you, Noel. Better players, first of all, for uh, Thompson. Look at Christian McFarland at centre-half forward. was terrific with two goals in that turn. Uh, Timmy Gardner never stops trying. Shane Withers was terrific uh, around the packs. Likewise, Rick Humphries at half forward. Christian uh, uh, Highland also been busy in the midfield. And, of course, Andrew Atchison at centre-half back has uh, done a fair job in that uh, first quarter of football. Clubs have uh, dispersed from their quarter-time speeches. And I'm sure Mickey Thompson, uh, the Eastern Suburbs coach, would have had a few things to say to his players. He probably did too, but walking, watching him walk back to the coach's box, he looked relaxed, and normally he doesn't look relaxed. He looks uptight. So he looked to me as if he was a man who was in control of what he was achieve, trying to achieve here this afternoon. And I know both you and myself picked uh, Eastern Suburbs, but they're not really going in the way one would expect, and I'm a bit surprised. Well, from a Thompson point of view, Bradley, who uh, started off on Stevenson, has uh, remained on him, so uh, obviously... They're uh, happy with that. Yeah, Alan Richardson, the now, coach of Thompson. You mentioned Academy. before the game that there was two key players. Richardson, the coach, is one of them. Now, there was another one... Jerry Nan Curvis. Uh, Jerry Nan Curvis. Northern Arn. plays on a wing. Yeah, and and, there, and he's, he's a ball mover, a link man across that wing, uh, you know, down that wing, and, and Richardson's one that's go and get it, so that's a big loss for the uh, uh, Thompson Tigers. It certainly is, but it hasn't affected them so far. They go into the second quarter, eight-point leaders... As the big men fly for the guest video, Pine again. Reuter does well, gets it down ground, but a pack of players have formed. Back at the bottom of the pack there was Mick O'Leary and Justin Justin. There's been an infringement, I think you'll find it. I reckon he just grabbed it, dragged it in, Ron. Justin Justin got the free kick, hand pass to Highland, goes up the half yeah, forward, and in man. front there was Rick Humphrey on Alan Rundle, and Humphrey takes the footy of the member's side. And he's been in the same paddock as Ronnie Brown as Rick Humphrey. He pumps the ball up to centre forward, and there's been no mark taken, but just about coming out that time with the, all the Eastern Suburbs boys are having a red-eyed go this time. Oh, bad luck. Dropped, got the football for mine and was tackled with it. it was Christian McFarlane who's kicked a couple of goals. He goes back in after it and the umpire's dragged the football in again and Robbie Clifton this time didn't see it as we see another little dance and 38 has uh, not moved. That's the uh, Eastern Suburbs boy there in Dalmenico. He looks like he's picking himself up very slowly and I think he might have copped one in the groin area, Ron. Uh, Alfonso will bounce back. <laughs> This time we see the Thompson boys get the uh, the handball away, uh, tap out through Christian Smith, but there's been an infringement called, and I think you'll find that's one of the O'Leary's. Now it's Rundle. Rundle gets the football across to uh, the running um, 34 Guernsey. Alfonso. Alfonso, it was. Alfonso it was. was, it was your he just went recovered. down and he's uh, packed it on. It's come across to the running Lang. Lang's dumped after he got rid of it, and Robbie Clifton, you could have called that down the ground, and you didn't. Coming out that time was Brett Loughton. Loughton's too clever for them. Gets around, kicks the ball up, coming out. Nobody can take the mark, but off the hands of the pack. Oh, handball was wasted. He had nowhere to go because the tackle was laid by the Thompson boys and clearing it across the half-back line as we see a bloke running out here in slow motion, Ron. Who was yeah, that? Mark Harris, it was. Good footy, though. Justin, 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 Justin. At centre wing, left foot kick was OK to centre-half forward. Up they go, back of the back, McFarlane. Couldn't take the leather. Oh. Kicked off the car, but oh. yes, in danger. Oh, who did he hit? That was well, crazy. Andrew Reuter, the big ruckman. Penalised, kicking in danger. McFarlane gets the footy and a lovely yeah. pass to the leading Cowan. Wasn't that a good kick? Lovely penetrating drop punt. Hit Mark Cowan right on the chest. Cowan will kick now from 50 metres. Can he kick that far on? Well, he's, I saw him kick one in that first quarter from 50, and I don't think you'll find he's going marginally downhill here and shouldn't have too many travels with distance. The coach of the second for Thompson can kick him a long way. He kicked one last year in the final. That booming torpedo punt. Distance, not a problem. Accuracy's a bit of a trouble, though. Mr. Lott 
Mr. Lottie's put it out of bounds on the full run, so he's let you down. Don't you give him another wrap-up, the full forward for uh, Thompson. Don't give him another wrap-up like that unless he's closer. OK. We see the football being brought back into play by the Eastern Suburbs boys. Up they go, and, oh, thumped over the boundary line for mine was Stefanowski. He could have caught it. Could have caught it. Did. Nobody was near him. He just punched it straight over the boundary line. It could have been nearly pink for deliberate as well. Anyway, up she comes. In they go. Nobody can get the football. This time it comes out oh, running around in circles and battling them all. That time was Shane Wenbridge. He kicked it straight across the ground. And he's really put Reuter under the pump there. He better hope it goes over the boundary line, and it has. It really gained them nothing, Ron, did it? No, change of direction. I think uh, Coach... On his own here, it. Lang. Well, there you are. Lack of vision on that occasion. Uh, but being only a right footer, Shane Winbridge, can use his left foot but prefers the right. Oh, good tap. Good tap. Hit the point post. It's out of bounds on the full. And the tap came down to the uh, Thompson boy and they just peppered away at the goal. They're not talking. They're, they're just letting their teammates pepper away at the full. Christian guard was... Was it Gardner or Christian Bishop? Island it was? Island had the football and just peppered away. Anyway, it's been brought back in from the uh, out of bounds on the full. Up they go. Nobody takes a mark. Coming in was O'Leary. He's wrapped up for mine. The umpire said didn't have a prior opportunity and I totally agree with him. Do you, Rob? I agree, yeah. Had no chance in the world. A great tackle, though. Ian well, Evans. Oh, strong tackle. O'Leary wonder what hit him. <laughs> Not rewarded. Roder. It does well. Ground level O, Thompson. Go forward into the pocket. Looks for Cowan in front there of uh, Stefanovski. But uh, Cowan has clean bowled. Ball now rests on the height and car sales sign here at Richmond Crescent. And we'll have a boundary throw in about 25 metres now from the Thompson goal. Early stages of the second quarter. We've been going about five minutes of the term. Boundary throw in. Looks like O'Leary used his body well. Got the front position held without the footy uh, against Christian Smith. And O'Leary now will drive the suburbs out of defence. Goes wide, looks out there for the uh, radar. And Alan Rundle takes the easiest of chest marks now on that outer side half-back flank. Looks to the set of the ground. He's got uh, oh, over the back, though. There was a big leap there. It was from Atchison. Knocked it away there from the number nine, Guernsey. In, uh, looks like uh, Graham Hood is on the ground for the suburbs. Mick O'Leary picked up the crumb, has got it across to his teammate there in Shane Evans, and Shane Evans pumps it over the boundary line, and that's going to be a boundary throw in. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it is. Yep. Anyway, they set themselves the pack. Up they go. Well, Roy got a good thump down, straight into the path of his teammate, but Thompson up to the task, sent it by Gardner to the full forward position. Lovely tap away by the full back from... Uh, Eastern Suburbs. This time he's panged it straight into the hands that time of uh, McFarlane. McFarlane yep. couldn't do anything with it, but uh, the ball's come out of the centre wing and Lang's got the ball. He hits the deck running. He kicks a shocker, but he's smart enough to put it out there in front of uh, his teammate there in Buckingham. Buckingham's tackled. This time we see Gardner with the football again. By Jove, that was good work from Gardner. Put it out in the front of the uh, in, in front of the running uh, teammate there and Mickey Gann. Gann gets it across to his teammate. Up they go and there's been a free kick paid. I think you'll find that time to that Thompson boy and I think it's Christian McFarlane again, Ron. Yeah, good use of the body. Very experienced campaigner and has learnt all these tricks from his father Kevin who has uh, been a Thompson legend for many, many years. Played 797 games. I think he? so and Kevin is here this afternoon uh, watching his son perform and uh, I would suggest that distance won't be a problem. He's uh, going to be kicking from 50 metres, 45 degree angle. Andy Gardner lead is ignored. The drop punt doesn't make real good contact with it. Fisted through there on the uh, goal line by Andy Reuter. Just hooked up slightly, didn't he? Like me. That's how I used to kick and run. That's why they used to play me in the back half. <laughs> OK, well, it's the first score of the second quarter. Eastern Suburbs bring the football back in. Reuter takes it over there in the back pocket, kicks it up to the half-back flank. No mark for mine. Running onto the football that time was Rundle, and he forced it over the boundary line in a very desperate piece of football for the Eastern Suburbs player. Right in front of the scoreboard, there'll be a boundary throw-in. Second quarter brought to us by the Geelong District Football League. Bingo set up, showing Thompson 3-4-22. They lead Eastern Suburbs 2-1-13. Fantastic. Up they go. Oh, another Reuter tap out. Boy, Jove, he's, he's just dominated the ruck work. Comes out to where we see Mickey Gann kick the football back into the uh, arms at that time of the waiting 
Al- Alfonso. Al- Alfonso Dalmenico. He gets the handball over the top. And the handball was uh, quite a good one to Carl Duke. Dances around, gets it across to his teammate, but he's been pinged for... Uh, it was, the kick was actually smothered. Comes into where we see Lang at centre-half. Back now, Ron. What's he doing that far down the ground? Obviously, the ball's not coming down to him, and he's frustrated. Yes, he's, uh, he's kicked there for a bit like a frustrated footballer. Goes out the next door of uh, Rundle. He works hard. Gets it across to uh, Reuter, which was good footy. Good tackle low there by... Uh, looks like Gardner. Uh, you're fine. There's been a free kick, though, and I think it's going to go the way of the suburbs. No, Thompson. Getting the benefit of the umpiring decisions at the minute. Smith. And I think it's Aaron Bradley, the uh, young wingman for the He's a tall Thompson wingman. side. Yes, he is. Uh, opportunity here for the lunchbox. So taps it forward. Can he pick it up now? Delamonica did well. Good pressure there from Alfonso Delamonica. He's been in the thick of it this quarter, right? He has. There's had a bit of work to do with the defensive area for the suburbs. Thompson doing all the attacking. At least stages of the second quarter. Oh, McFarlane yeah. sharks it from yeah. that uh, bounce. Centers up there looking for Cowan's yeah, body. He's uh, infringed on Jack Oak. And uh, the fullback, Johnny Stefanovski, takes the free kick. Handballs to the runner, yeah. Carl Jew. Good work and sees that uh, Peter Lang makes good position at half back. <coughs> Lang, maybe having a run on the ball, Noel. Oh, 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 JJ flew high. Couldn't pull it down. Oh, no, rubber man. All the wrapped ball. up. Should be penalised. No free kick was forthcoming. And uh, the umpire... Mick O'Leary asked the question. The same question that you were going to ask, Ron. Court red Oliver, I'm afraid. Yep, yep. yep. Mick O'Leary asked the same question. Oh, again, again. Yeah, Reuter does well. Bouncing ball. And second too well. Now, umpire McFarland is McLaughlin, I should say. Looks like a rocket, Rodney Thompson. No, it was Peter Lang got the high tackle. Yeah, they worked it well. Very yeah, good work to Roder. Roder inside with the hand pass to Buckingham. Kicked the centre half forward, and the mark's been paid. A touchy one. Look at Lang. Look at the work he's doing. Lang now at half forward. He's got McGough also. Makes the lead. But uh, uh, the kick not a good one. Dropped short in front though was Lang. Can he pick it up? No. Oh, Humphrey man. now at half back. Comes across. Goes out to the member side of the ground. Oh, Christian Highland takes a beauty. Two. A one handed mark. Now plays on handball. Not a good one to uh, guard. That was Tim. Looks like Thompson oh, may have turned it over. O'Leary tapped it back. Rod Thompson ran straight back into him. Eyes for the ball only. And uh, umpire McLaughlin will come in and uh, bounce down as. Uh, <laughs> well, Thompson and uh, Christian Hall are just uh, <laughs> going to kiss one another, picking themselves off the turf. There we see uh, that boy there in Mark Buckingham. Doesn't like, I don't think he likes Timmy Gardner, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Royal wins a tap down, but it comes down to the Thompson boys. This time we see Gardner in there, and he's really tried hard, and he was rewarded for the strength and tenacity that he showed, Ron. Yeah, Jimmy Gardner, the Neville Whitley medalist of 96. Kicks the footy long. It's a penetrating kick, too. Up there for McFarlane. Knocked away from him. Good work, uh, Bailey. Quick hands up. Ground level was Christian Smith. The big fella. Left foot kick up to the forward pocket. Goes out there. Humphrey slipped at the crucial time. Could not get the hand pass in board, but it's all eastern suburbs. Oh, Delmonica caught well. Collard Dale Menzies loses the ball. There's Alfonso Delmonica. It's off his hands and out of bounds. Ball's now about 40 metres from the Thompson goal, doing all the attacking in the second quarter. They still lead by nine points. As a, that looks like uh, Backwell kicks it up there to uh, the full forward zone. Coward comes out, traps it, screws it around over his uh, right shoulder. That famous left foot snap, and he's popped it through. Great goal. It was a very good goal, and that's going to make the job a little bit tougher for Eastern Suburbs to get back into it. And I'll, you know, I hate to say this, but uh, I really think that without Reuter and the old fella Peter Lang, Eastern Suburbs have just got. Oh, Mick O'Leary's having a go, and so is uh, um, Alfie Delmonico. The rest of them just seem to be going at half pace, Ron. Yes, so they need a few of their midfielders in uh, Thompson, Buckingham, O'Leary. And also uh, McGough just to lift a little. Just a tad, yeah. And GDFL Bingo, second quarter scoreboard. Eastern Suburbs 2 1 13, which they kicked at in the first quarter. Haven't scored this quarter. Thompson 4 4 28, Ron. 
Yes, Tige's doing well in the uh, GDFL match of the day on the Country FM. Ball now up back from the centre. O'Leary must have heard me. Hand pass was good. Out to, does, that was Murray Stevenson who's been quite the second term. Lovely kick up there and a mark's got to be paid, Brett Loughton. Great mark in a packed situation, but the sticky fingers of Brett Loughton pulls in another mark. And he'll be shooting for a goal no more than 45 metres out. 45 degree angle. Shouldn't have too many problems in now kicking his second. He should be able to put this one through. There won't be any problem with the distance. And the wind has absolutely stopped, so that's not going to be a problem. But I'll tell you what, he's pulled it to the left. And it's gone through for one point, as we'll see Clive Haywood, the goal umpire, say, Fano, I agree with what you've got to say up there in the commentary box for Country FM, and we just will put one hand up. OK, the ball's been brought back into play out of the half-back flank for the Eastern Suburbs boys. Pushed in the back for mine, picking up the football beautifully for uh, Thompson. That was uh, McFarlane. He couldn't do anything with it. The ball's gone over to centre-half forward where there's stacks on the mill. And Robbie Clifton, the central umpire, said, fellas, give the football to me and settle down because there's no need to do anything wrong. And as Andrew Atchison was the player that got the football before, followed it up and was a boy, last boy to get up off the pack. Up they go again. Reuter this time wins it. He's just absolutely dominating in the rap of the Thompson. Uh, absolutely sharking his football. But this time, the uh, Eastern Suburbs boys, through the agency at that time of the uh, 53 Guernsey and Rod Thompson. Yep, the coach's brother. Oh, is Rocket it his Rocket. brother, is it? Yes, anyway, it is. they got it up to the Sean O'Leary direction, and he didn't let him land. I'd say Sean O'Leary's playing at full forward run. Yes, I think he's going to start it on the flank, but uh, I think that's a lovely looking shot at goal. It is, so. Uh, Sean, Sean O'Leary, he's, uh, let's have a look. He's kicked 47 goals for the season, Noel. Well, he's he's now 48. 48. Yes, he has. Lovely goal for the suburbs. A badly netted one, too. It's taken them, now about 11 minutes of the second quarter to score in this term. And just as we bagged them, the blokes that you bagged put in. Yep, they come good. They must have heard us, I'd suggest. They've got transistors out there, mate. <laughs> Listen walk. to 89.1 Country yes. FM. Yes, the ball's back in the centre on the Geelong District Football League. Bingo, centre scoreboard, Eastern Suburbs, 3-2-20. Trail, Thompson by 8 points, 4-4-28. Back to the centre. Reuter again dominating. Knocks it to centre-half forward. Ooh. Thompson worked well there in defence. That was... Uh, Mickey Gann, who got it out wide to Atchison, runs his full turn, well wrapped up there by Buckingham. Support. Oh! Players going in pretty hard for the leather. Gardner could have tried. Oh, one player. There was three head high tackles there, and he's pinged the third one. Well, Timmy Gardner. He doesn't mind because he's got the free kick. Right on the end of the side, centre wing, and uh, Timmy Gardner's not frightened to have a, no, a red hot no. go. Didn't even flinch. Kick. Not a good one. McFarlane underneath the footy. A high ball. Quick hands there from uh, Andy Gardner. The lunchbox goes out wide. Looks there for the run of McFarland. Just couldn't quite cleanly handle the footy. And it's out of bounds. Right forward pocket, about 30 metres from the Thompson goal. You see the bound round pie bring it back in. Up they go. This time Justin Justin got the tap down. Come out to where we see uh, uh, that, that young Christian Highland get a football. He got it through the pack and it's bounced through for a point. If that had it went straight, it would have went it would have went through for a goal. But he it did a leg break, and it went through for a point, as we see Steve-O with the ball with, at their full back there for the Eastern Suburbs boys, bringing it in. He's gone short, looking for his teammate there in Dale Menzies. Menzies, uh, sorry, it's uh, Shane Evans, Eastern Suburbs list. Look at the right list, Noel. He kicks the ball short again. They're still inside 53 disposals, Shane. Wembridge with the football. They're outside 50 now, as we see the big foul rider kick it up to the wing, looking for his teammate there in Buckingham, doesn't let him down hits the deck on the move, gets it inboard, it's not a bad handball either, hits Shane Evans who was running by, kicks it up to the centre half forward and a lovely mark that time has been taken up there for Eastern Suburbs and I think it could be Mocker Stevenson. Murray Stevenson, the number 26 Guernsey, Stevenson, 55 metres out, has gone bang and it's just been marked on the line by Thompson and it will be a mark to Jason Stein. He got a little bit of... Uh, oh, it's gone over the back of the pack. It's gone through for a point. It must have come off the back. Just thought Stein marked that, Ron. I'm, uh, I must be on drugs. Great kick at goal, though, from Murray Thompson. Good 50... Uh, Murray Stevenson, I should say. A good 55 out. Really drilled it, but uh, just uh, off hands the, uh, right on the goal line. 
Stein with the football to pull back, doesn't know which way to go. He's going to go to the outer side of the ground. He goes short. Oh, but there's problems here. And it was a head-eye tackle for mine. Should have been paid to Eastern Suburbs, but was not. OK, scoreboard shows 21 plays 29. Ball now, Eastern Suburbs forward line. Uh, Thompson enjoying that eight-point advantage. Time check, Bannockburn Sporting. Uh, trophy's time check shows that we've been going 19 minutes of the second quarter. Now... Eastern Suburbs, can they score? Ball now to the right forward pocket. A good 40 metres from their goal. Menzies comes out, has a bit of a windy wolf. Goes back in after the footy. Picks it up and kicks it short. Finds uh, that looks like uh, Bradley it was. His quick kick up the half forward was uh, OK, but it's trapped well there by Evans. The dashing half back. Uh, now, was Alfonso Delamonica pushed to the back by the lunch? I thought he was, but the umpires allowed it to go. Bradley drives it forward. There's an opportunity for McFarland. Takes the mark. Lovely footy to Cowan. Combining well. Plays on McCowan. Gets around one. Steady from 30 metres. Don't tell me he's done it again. Great goal. Tell you what, he got around more than one. He got around a couple. Great effort. I tell you what, and, he, and the, the way the uh, Thompson boys brought that football down into the forward line, they brought... They brought it down so fast that Cowan was one out with the full back. And he had the drop on the full back and they've just, bang, put it straight on the full forward's chest. Cowan hit the deck, up he got, darted around one bloke. By that stage, two Eastern Suburbs boys were there, but he just sidestepped between the middle of them and put it straight over the top of the umpire's tit for tat in his hat. JDFL Bingo sent a second quarter scoreboard. Eastern Suburbs 3-3-21. Trail Thompson... 5 5 35, and that's a 14 point lead to the Thompson Tigers. Yeah, a bit of a, yeah, it's turn, a bit up. turn up at this stage. That is the home side at the moment, struggling as Reuter, though, dominating the air. The Buckingham does well. Hand pass to centre half back. Oh, Atchison could have been hurt there. The centre half back very gingerly picking himself off the ground as there's been a whistle on play. It looks like Shane Wimbridge will get the free kick. And centre half forward for the suburbs. Looks to the lead. He's got one. Lang comes out. Can he mark it? It's over his head. Now O'Leary shirks one tackle. Good enough to sort of chip it across looking for McGough. Coming in Stevenson. Quick hands there. Looks for Loughton. He can't control. Oh, he got it back. The Thompson defender flicked it back and Loughton snabbled it and said, bang. Thank you very much. Ha-ha, oh, what a great goal. Oh, it was absolutely sensational. It was just Thompson were a little bit spit on that Stole occasion. it, he did. Yes. Brett Loughton. Stole it from a, uh, a punch out of the pack and it was uh, the Thompson boy just about to dart away and Brett Loughton said, no, you won't. Know, and he just put his hands in and grabbed the football out, turned on, pivoted it on one foot and went clunk with his left foot. Is he a left footer? Yes, he is, and a beautiful left footer as uh, at that. And that's brought the uh, school but a little closer. Back to eight points now is the suburbs and a very handy goal. Time check shows. Oh, let's have a look. 22 minutes gone, now of the and second quarter. 4-4, 27, 5-5, five, five, 35 in fa favour of Eastern Suburbs. As we see the ball uh, taken out that time by the fellow there in Wembridge. He gets it out high, wide and handsome. And he gets it onto his running teammate who couldn't take the football. But, oh, fighting in there hard. Oh, he kicked it while he was sitting down on the ground. Was uh, Bradley. Bradley. And uh, he's kicked it out to uh, the outer wing. And it's over the boundary line and... Mate, now, mate, I've got to say something. All the ladies and gentlemen out there at the old folks' home at um, in Belmont, where my mother is, I spent an hour with my mother before I came to the football. They're all tuned in and listening to us today because there's no cats on. Well, that's lovely, and uh, let's yeah. hope that uh, they're enjoying the kick by kick description on Country FM and uh, a special cheerio to all Man the, 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 the mums and dads and the grands and uh, grandmas. Well, they know what we're talking about, it's another thing. But <laughs> they, all, they love their footy out at Nangata, the nursing home there in Belmont, and they're all tuned in listening this afternoon. Well, that's terrific, as we've just had a bit of a lull on the proceedings. The um, umpire said he's going to throw it in now. Out of sight of the ground. Thompson into attack. Evans this time. Got it down to backward. Was good. Quick kick, though. Only travels a short distance. Lundell slips at the crucial time. Support there was Reuter. Kicks wildly, though, to centre wing and allows Christian Highland to come in with a long bomb. Yeah. But there's good courage shown by Mick O'Leary. Running back into the pack, takes the footy at the half-back. Jew. Yeah, looks out there to Carl Jew. And uh, Carl Jew now in between centre wing and half-back flank. Takes the footy, member side of the uh, Richmond Crescent. Kicks long. 
Up there, oh, the high flyer was Lucas to the back of the pack. Highland, though, got the football at ground level. Support there was Skinner, who threw oh, the ball down on fire. You reckon he threw it? Clifton, it was a little bit sus, as we see the JJ on the mark. Lucas drives it to the centre of the ground. The run of Reuter was good. He's kicked under pressure. Travels up the direction of Stevenson. Bradley does well. Kicks it. Oh, he's kicked it back towards their goal of Eastern Suburbs. But he's very quick, the youngster. And oh, does it again. Yeah. Good football, Aaron Bradley. Yeah. Finds the boundary line. And that's uh, on that outer side half-forward flank. Suburbs into attack uh, as we're uh, nearly into time on now the second quarter. Scoreboard shows eight points to the margin. The Thompson Tigers in front. Certainly are as it comes out of the centre wing where we see going in there was Delmonico doing a lot of hard work. O'Leary chipped in. No, it's not O'Leary. It was number 30 again. He chipped in, got a handball. Tap further forward. This time we see your mate again in uh, Bradley come in and do the cleaning up and put it over the boundary line for the second time. And the last time he was out number three to one, Ron, and he beat a lot of them. Well, showing a lot of character out on Bradley. Got a bath in the first quarter. Coaches stuck with him. And on this occasion, I'd suggest is uh, taking the honours from Maurice Stevenson in this term. Yes, without a doubt. Ball. See the ball again. Yes, it's uh, three in a row. Persisting out there on the outer side of the ground. Fair amount of pressure. A lot of players around the, the ball, as we see now. Oh, he stole Gardner, yes, stole it well at the back of the pack. Tried to break through, but handballed wildly in the air. No one can get clean possession. Evans is there, lost it. Gardner back in again. Great work, Timmy Gardner. Battled his way through, kicks quickly up to half forward and in front, Mick oh, O'Leary. Look at this. Lucas drifting at and half back. No one within 25, 30 metres. Takes the football from O'Leary, has a bounce, looks up the ground, kicks there to Rod Thompson. A rocket under pressure there from Mickey Yan. Paddles it forward. Now Lucas, though, supporting uh, Thompson. Likewise, Skinner for the Thompson side. Does well. Kicks it on his left foot. Goes to the side of the ground. Opportunity, though, Wembridge mops it up well. Kicks long to half foot on Loughton. Back of the pack, takes it, plays on running. But the kick drops short in front. Good work, Atchison, is it? No, it's Mark Harris. And the full-back for the Thompson side takes the footy. Goes straight down the ground, too, and finds Highland now at centre-half back. He plays on. Mickey Gann it is. Just a short kick. Mick Gann now in between centre-half uh, back and the centre of the ground. Kicks long to centre-half forward. Back of the pack. Reuter couldn't take the footy. Over no, right the Rod Peacock. Recovered well, the big man. Timmy Gardner works hard at ground level. Hand pass to Peacock was good. Peacock's penetrating kick up there. One-on-one. -on -one. That was uh, McFarland and O'Leary. Good tackle, O'Leary. Mopped up well. Shane Evans, who shepherds well, supports Rundle, who kicks to the... Uh, Play well. Yep. Set of the ground, and Peter Lang again, very busy. Takes the footy for the suburbs. Kicks to centre-half forward. No one there as Menzies comes out and takes a real finger-tipper at centre-half back for the Thompson side. Just went over Rundle's head. It was just a bit out of his reach, wasn't it, right? Certainly was, Noel. 26 minutes gone in the second quarter. School board shows... Thompson 5-5-35, Eastern Ooh. Suburbs 4-3-27, margin 8 points. OK, as we see the ball come out to the running lane, he fumbles, he doesn't know what to do, he goes under that, oh he's caught, no he darts back, goes down onto his knees, gets it over to Jew, Jew onto that right foot, kicks up the centre half forward, up they fly, nobody can take the mark, but oh, I'll tell you what, out the back of the back, is danger for the Eastern Suburbs, off the ground! Fantastic work that time by Sean O'Leary, there was trouble there and he was going to be thrown down, but... He was too smart for him. Instead of picking it up, he just went clunk with his left foot. Yeah, great work. And marking it on the goal line there was Robbie Reuter and his brother. And Robbie kicks his second goal. You could probably give it to Sean O'Leary. Oh, yeah, he set it up for him. He certainly did. But uh, in actual fact, Robbie has popped it through. Robbie and, uh, Reuter. Brought the margin back to through. Two points. And that's Robbie Reuter's second goal here at Eastern Suburbs. Set up by Sean O'Leary, who was at the back of the pack and smart enough to kick it from mid-air and it was just a perfect drop punt. We see the bound with the ball back in the centre of the ground. GFL Bingo centre score or Eastern Suburbs 5-5, 5, 5, 5 3, 33. Trail Thompson 5-5, 5, 5, 35. Thank you to the GFL Bingo centre. Ball now in the centre of the ground. Highland breaks through the centre but he's kicked it straight down. Mick O'Leary who's doing well at half back. Had a run on the ball that first quarter. His disposal is terrific. Coming out taking a figure tipper on the ground now for the Suburbs Simon Ellison. Ellison kicks the ball long up there, but Farland in front. 
Oh, snatched off him by his teammates there in Atchison. Kicks up the half foot over Humphrey's head. O'Leary mops up well. Gets around the tackle of uh, Humphrey. Handbars is wide to Rundle. He goes in board to Fulton. Good, good footy, quick hands, good running there. Oh, down Leary. the ground! And, uh, well, Timmy Gardner him, came across uh, <laughs> rather strongly, <laughs> but missed him. And you shouldn't be free kick for a miss, should you? No, but the intent was there. Down the ground, you can't do that. Well, Mickey O'Leary, yeah, he did it well. <laughs> Went to ground uh, as if he was hit, but wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, McFarlane, was he held without the ball? Yes, he was. High tackle said umpire Clifton and Christian McFarlane, who's been terrific for Thompson here this afternoon, gets another possession at half back. Nice kick, too, up there looking for the high oh, flyers. Oh. Simon Allison takes a beauty above Rod Peacock, who's uh, a pretty tall young man. Yeah. A nice grab there from the interchange player. In Simon Allison. Not sure what to do. Waiting for a lead. Looks to Robbie Reuter. Bull holds up. No one can take it. Reuter, and he stole it. Ground level sees that uh, coming through strongly there was Hood. Couldn't trap it. And by Clifton said, Give it to me and we'll have another bounce down at half forward. Suburbs into attack. Evans does well. Finds Highland at ground level, who didn't Hit really the have anyone to kick to it centre wing here, so he goes straight to the boundary line and uh, finds it, and uh, we'll have a boundary throw in our member side centre wing, as the siren sounds, Noel to terminate the first half of football at round 14 uh, GDFL footy for 1997 and uh, quite an interesting tussle here at Richmond Crescent Noel. Yes, and there's two points in it, Ron, it's a fantastic tussle, 5-3-33 to the home side, Eastern Suburbs they're visiting neighbours, 5-5 35, and that's on the Geelong District Football League second quarter scoreboard. And uh, Ron's having a lot of fun here with the scoreboard. With the scoreboard. <laughs> and we see, uh, well, we'll do the goal kickers before we go in. Uh, for Eastern Suburbs, Brett Loughton has two, and uh, Robbie Reuter has two, and Sean O'Leary has one. Uh, for Thompson, Christian McFarlane has two, and the big fella up there, Mark Gowans, He's got three on the board. From one, that last one he kicked was for an absolute sensational snap over his shoulder after a really, really good effort. Better players for the side that the home side I'll go through, and then I'll let Ron take over and do the better players for Thompson. I would suggest you find that Carl Dew came into the game a fair bit into that uh, second quarter. Uh, the big fella, Andrew Reuter, if I was giving votes now, Ron, I'd be giving him three at this stage because he's been absolutely dominating the uh, the ruck duels, but Thompson have been smart enough to be able to shark probably more than half their well, half those ruck duels. Um, Shane Evans battled hard. He's battled really hard for the uh, suburbs. The old fella Peter Lang. He's covering a lot of ground. He's had to move himself up the ground to the centre and half back lines to get into the play because the ball just wasn't coming down to the uh, eastern suburbs forward half in that quarter, and uh, he had to do that. Michael O'Leary, after getting a rev from Ron Brain on the radio, really lifted his uh, efforts after about the 12 or 13 minute mark of that second quarter and has played really well in the last two thirds, I would say, of that quarter and been in the better players. And uh, Simon Allenson hasn't done much, but has taken a very, very nice mark just out here in front of us. Uh, Robbie Reuter, he's kicked a couple of goals. And Alfonso Dolmenico has done some very, very hard work for the Suburbs boys across half-back. Sean O'Leary kicked one, set one up with a bit of passive, uh, very clever bit of passage of play and hasn't had the, uh, the uh, been in it because the ball hasn't been coming down there enough, so he really hasn't been in it much. And Rod Thompson, the number 53 Guernsey, and I believe, as Ron has told us during the call, he's the coach's son, he's been in and out of the play also. Coach's brother? Brother, I mean, yes. Uh, Best players, Ron, for the Thompson Tigers. For Tigers, well, Timmy Garden has been terrific. Uh, gives uh, 110% every week. Oh, tough. Tough and hard at it, forcing the ball forward at, at all costs. And uh, probably the better player so far. Very impressed with Christian McFarlane. He's been a very focal point at centre-half forward. Uh, didn't kick a goal that turn, but uh, had a bit of a run on the ball and did a lot of work at half-back in that quarter. Uh, Christian Highland, who's been good also. I think uh, the reason for why... Thompson are still maintaining their, their lead. It's only two points, but uh, Highland's been busy and sharking a lot of the good work that Andy Reuter has done in the air. 
and also Aaron Bradley. I thought uh, it was yeah. badly beaten in that first quarter. Bounced back in that second term with some dash and some good disciplined football from the young wingman for the Thompson side. But, uh, yeah, all in all, uh, I'll, I'll give the rubber man a mention too. Atchison, who's been uh, pretty consistent across half back. Well, if you had in your eye, would it? Uh, Mark Cowan's kicking three goals yeah. for the term. You've got to mention him and yeah. his performance. That was uh, was good stuff from him. But that's not taking anything away from the full back of Eastern Suburbs. I reckon Jack Hayes, he does a great job. I reckon it's been a great deal watching those two play. I certainly, uh, there's two of the stronger men in GDFL footy, and uh, it is an interesting tussle. So, uh, time, time will tell now. We're set for a great cr- clash here at Richmond Crescent for the round 14 GDFL match of the day. We're at half time. Thompson going with a two-point lead over Eastern Suburbs. Uh, and don't forget, 89.1 Country FM is Country Football.